Hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger from dancefish.com. Today I want to show you a really cool little dwarf cichlid. It's peaceful, it's colorful, it stays fairly small, and it's simple to breed and it's really hardy, and you don't see it around very often. That's right, I'm talking about the African butterfly cichlid. Let's take a look. All right, here they are, the African butterfly cichlid, or for any of you that are feeling fancy, Anomalochromus thomasi is the scientific name. Something interesting about that is that these are a monotypic genus, meaning this is the only species in the entire genus. So they're a cichlid, but they're not super closely related to any other cichlid that we know of. So that's kind of neat. Now in the wild there are some different color forms and things like that. In given time the scientists might split them up into different species. Who knows? They're always changing stuff around. But for now, this is the only species in the genus, which makes it a kind of cool fish, right? Um, so what I like about these guys is they're super hardy. You really can't go wrong with these fish. They do well in a wide variety of water parameters. They, in the wild, often come from black water, like you would expect, which is generally really soft, really tannic, kind of full of decomposed leaves and stuff like that, which creates tannic acid and, and all that stuff that acidifies the water. But they can also do really well in hard water. I know people that keep and breed them regularly in really hard water. Also people that keep and breed them with no problems in soft water. This is a fish that can take lots of different water parameters. Keep the water chemically clean. You don't want ammonia. You don't want nitrite. But other than that, they're pretty good. This is the setup. It's water sprite up top. They're in there with some Aplicylus dei, which is my favorite of that genus of killifish water sprite kind of choking the top which almost tints the water green on camera you'll see it when we go submerged in a minute in a little while we'll go underwater and you'll see how green it tints everything but just a simple sponge filter little box filter they're also in here with some Siamese algae eaters and a few threadfin rainbows and they don't bother anyone and they're not that shy like I'll put my hand up here wave it around they're not darting away they're not hiding under the sponge filter or in the plants or whatever once they settle in they're out and about they're showy they're they're interacting with you they're a fun little fish now admittedly right now they don't look that colorful in fact often when you see them in pet stores and things you just pass them by because they don't look that good these are getting a little bit of color but they are small they, they're about an inch to an inch and a quarter. So they're just barely, barely starting to get their color in. Just kind of showing you some of the tank mates there. Um, and so they will get a lot more colorful as they grow and they mature. In stores, they often don't show their color even if they're mature because they're really stressed out and they're freshly imported and all that stuff. But just trust me, when they settle in, these are beautiful fish. I, I used to work at a place that had a tank full of these. We had them for several months. And every time I walked by the tank, they would just draw my eye. I would stop and just watch them for a bit because they're, they were so beautiful, so uniquely colored. Okay, we're going to move. Here we go. The show will continue now. Great. So anyway, they drew my eye a lot. And I wish I had adults or, or some that were even just half an inch larger when they start getting their color that I could show you, but, but I just don't. So just take my word for it or Google them, African butterfly cichlid. You'll probably see a bunch of pictures of African butterfly fish, but you'll also see some of these. They're, they're kind of cool. Now they do grow to about three inches in size, so they're only a third of their total size right now. They're just little juveniles. These are an amazing cichlid for a planted aquarium. They're not like a lot of cichlids that will dig a ton and disrupt the plants and chew on the plants and all that. Um, these guys don't do that. They are pretty easy going on plants and digging and stuff. Mid 70s is where I keep them. They can go, you know, mid 70s up to about 80 degrees or so, somewhere around there. They're just super easy going very peaceful fish they don't bother anybody they don't even bother each other now when they shack up and spawn then a pair will get a little aggressive and defend the territory and the eggs but they don't get aggressive like a lot of cichlids that spawn that will just 
tear anything apart. They just want to defend their little spot, is really all it is. And they're easy to spawn. They'll spawn on a, a, a broad leaf like a sword tail. They like little flat stones or tiles that you put on the bottom, kind of like you would with German blue rams. And they are easy to breed. Anyone can breed this fish. If, if you're first, if you're getting into cichlids and you want a good first one to start with, this is a great one. They're hardy, they're colorful, and they spawn super easily. So I would say go for it. They're also very good parents. They'll raise their fry without any problems. Well, I mean, if the tank's full of barbs or tetras, then, then that might be a problem. But really good parents, a good one to start with. Now, one thing I, I will say is a lot of the literature says that these are super shy fish. I haven't seen that at all. Once they learn where the food is and when feeding time is and all that, they're right there. As soon as I open up the lid, bam, they are there. They're waiting for the food. They get right on it. Um, they might get out competed by like a large school of really fast barbs or, or super quick danios or something. But, you know, in my opinion, I think the literature is wrong. They're bold. They're out and about. They're not a timid little shy fish. And that might be in my experience that they're like that because I keep them in, in a fairly good sized group. Now, if I just had a pair or just a few of them, that might be different. But if you keep these in a group, my experience has been that they're, they're fascinating, they're bold, and you're not going to have problems. At least I haven't had any problems as far as them being timid and hiding and shy and being picked on by other fish and outcompeted. None of that has happened. So anyway, I think this is a highly underrated fish. It's not one you're going to see very often. And that's probably just because they don't shine in pet stores. You get a jewel cichlid, like a bright red jewel cichlid in a pet store. Even if that fish is stressed out, it's still like a bright, pretty colored fish. These aren't. So I think that that's the thing. They are when they settle in. Then they really fire up. But, you know, when they're super stressed in a pet store's tank and, and freshly imported, they really don't shine. And I think that's the reason. So anyway... I would say if you're just getting into them, keep an eye into cichlids, keep an eye out for the species. I don't think you can go wrong. I, I honestly think it's one of the easiest cichlid species out there. Well, those are going to be stunning in a little while. They're already getting some color at this small size, but in just a little while, they're going to be amazing. So anyway, that's the African butterfly cichlid. One of my favorites from long ago. I've liked them for a long time. Um, if you like this video and this kind of stuff, if you would consider subscribing, liking, hitting notification bells, sharing, all that schmaz would be most appreciated. Until next time, I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. Um,